Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to style a lace front wig. And I use this beautiful red wig from donnalovehair.com and I will also link it in the description box. And this is me before wearing the wig after a long day of university. And, and if you like this fox headband I will also link it in the description box. The wig came in this lovely package and included was this calm and a wig cap and the wig of course. And this is the beautiful red wig and it's very very soft. And I wanted to show you the lace front part so that you can see how it looks. I think it looks like a real hairline. I really like it. And I already cut it. And you will have to cut it yourself as well. And this is the inner part of the wig. And there are some hair clasps attached. So that the wig holds onto the wig cap or your hair and doesn't fall off. Before I will wear the wig I will brush it with the comb. And I will also have to wear this beautiful wig cap. It looks kind of ridiculous but it's important. It holds better than if I would just put it on top of my head. And this is how the red wig looks. Just so you know, Donna Love Hair has a Black Friday sale where they have like 20% off of every product on their website. And yeah, I will also link that in the, des in the description box. And I already like it, but let's be real here. I don't think that Anyone would mistake this for my real hair because it's super super thick and it's this this thick wavy long wig hair and I want to make it a bit more realistic. So to style it I will use some clear transparent hair bands and I will use the part in the middle and just make a regular three braid. I think it's called this way, I'm not really sure. Um, you just I think you know this braid, but you just take three strands of hair and braid them together. And this is how it looks, just with the two braids, but I think we can do this a little bit better because you cannot really notice the braids that good. So I will use four bobby pins. We just use the strain in front of the braid and pin it back behind the braid so that the braid will be much more obvious. And I think it looks already good like this. But I thought about another look and um, for this you will just have to pin your braid over your head on the other side. And I kind of fucked this look up because I didn't have a mirror and I couldn't really see what I was doing. Um, it would look much better if you would pin it in the middle, over the middle of your head and not on the back. I think it has this Melisandre vibe which I really like. I love this character. And yeah, this was my tutorial. And I will link all the products in the description box below. And I hope you guys liked it. And you can use the code ManicMoth to get $8 off your next purchase from their website. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.